and welcome to today's special presentation of the Art Institute of Civil War and Art, a History. Our first photo of the day is Nancy Zarendoff's Drummer Boy. This is a picture of John Lincoln Plum, who was the most famous Civil War boy. He was born in 1851 and became a soldier at the age of 12. John survived the war but died of old age in 1937. Nancy painted this as a tribute to a boy many people honored. All right, our second photo is of is of General Robert E. Lee. This portrait was painted by Rita McCorder from Texas. It was inspired by an 1865 picture by Matthew Brady. As you can see in the photo, Lee is sitting, while in the picture he is standing. Also, as you can see, they are both holding Our hats. Our third picture is Union Rider by Edward Forbes. This was painted in a part of a series of paintings for the war. Forbes painted many paintings following every part of the war. This was made to show a solo man on his horse trying to stay alive. As you can see, there were many, um, there were many other people and horses in the background. And our very last photo of the day is going to be at the Sutler's Tent by Winslow Homer. This painting was painted between the times of 1861 to 1862 when Homer painted most of his photos on the Civil War. He also painted other paintings from uniforms to battle scenes. It is showing the sutler who comes around to feed others and, other, and also sells things like um, backpacks or ammo for guns and the happy soldier who is eating some bread. All right. That, unfortunately, marks the end of our tour. But thank you very much for coming to watch and see all the different paintings. Tune in for the rest of the month to see more Civil War featured arts.